Welcome to Baked Bushra. I'm Bushra and this is my home. Today we're going to be making chocolate and orange cookies. As you can see, I've got a lot of ingredients. These ingredients are going to make the most perfect chocolate cutout cookies. We're going to actually start with the butter. But you can have it room temperature or you can have it cold. All right, first you're going to put the butter into your big bowl. To this, you're going to add your sugar. And to the sugar, you want to add oil. And lastly, you're going to add some vanilla extract. Uh, right, so my vanilla extract is homemade. And it does not have alcohol in it. It's a halal homemade vanilla extract. It smells so sweet and so delicious. And um, just put that right in there. Now, with your spoon, you're going to cream your ingredients together. It's important that you do not use a stand mixer, which is perfect for me because I actually don't have one. So I'm just going to do this by hand. You're going to cream it in your bowl just by kind of breaking your butter apart and then smooshing it against the sides. Can you see how beautifully creamy this is? How it just spreads and it's just so luxurious. That's what you want. Smells like um, butter and sugar, but that vanilla flavor, because it's homemade, is so strong. If you want to make homemade vanilla extract, go to my website. Ooh, look at it, it's so creamy. I literally love this. To this, we're going to add our egg, just one egg. And at this point, because I am making chocolate orange, because orange and chocolate are perfect together, I will add some of my orange extract. It smells like orange. It's pretty good. And just mix it up. So at this point, I'm going to add some salt. What was in here? I don't think there was anything in here. That's awkward. Mix my salt. Add your orange extract zest you're gonna do a whole orange make sure you clean it well and if you can use an orange from the tree because it's gonna be super organic and homegrown just going to zest this okay make sure that you flip over your um zest zester what is this thing called it's important that you zest your orange before you juice it because you can't really zest an orange that has already been juiced. Well, you can, I've done it before. But take my advice, it's not really the best idea. So now we're gonna juice this. We only need one tablespoon of it. So just make sure you mix in between, you know, adding all these little ingredients, the zest and the orange juice and the egg. Just mix it so that it's evenly incorporated. The last thing we're gonna add to our wet mixture is the chocolate chips. You want to get to the consistency of like shredded, really, really fine chocolates. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. So this is what you want it to look like. Very fine shredded chocolate, just like that. And that's important because if you leave big chunks of chocolate in your cookie batter, you're not gonna be able to cut out the shapes that you want. It's going to ruin the shapes and we don't want that. We wanna have beautiful cutouts um, resembling the cookie cutter itself. So the last thing we have to do now is just add our dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You could sift this. I usually don't, so it doesn't really matter. We have three dry ingredients. And one of them is flour, obviously. The other one is cocoa powder, obviously. And the last one is going to be rice flour. Um, if you don't have rice flour, you could use cornstarch. Perfect substitute, either one. I don't have cornstarch right now, so I'm just using the rice flour. The importance of the cornstarch slash rice flour is that it's going to absorb any excess liquid and butter and whatever is in there. And so that way, when you do cut out your shapes, the shapes stay in the oven. They're not going to flood into each other or lose their shape. They're gonna stay exactly the way you cut them out and that's essential. Make sure you use your cornstarch or your corn flour, I mean your rice flour. Cornstarch is corn flour, duh. So I'm just going to pour these right over. Here's the rice flour and the cocoa powder. Mix that together. Right, so now while you're mixing, you're gonna add your um, flour slowly. For starters, I would say stick to my measurements. There's a link to my ingredients and recipe 
in the description box below as usual so you can replicate my recipe. Incorporate this slowly. As you mix this, you're gonna see it form into a shortbread dough. And now with your hand, you're going to scoop out your batter and put it into your cling wrap. Oh, this is gonna be so perfect. So we're going to chill this for about one hour and then it's going to be nice and easy for us to shape it, to roll it out and shape it. In the meantime, while this is cooling in my fridge, um, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you are a regular to my channel, welcome back and make sure you hit that notification button because apparently my videos are not showing up on everybody's feed and that's really annoying because I work hard, you know? These videos are fun to make, but they are time consuming. Okay, so I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375 and I'm gonna take out my dough, which should be pretty solid. It's been an hour. Before we begin rolling this out, I would like to say thank you to withaspin.com for sending me these awesome cookie cutters. Ramadan is approaching. As the days come closer, I'm more and more excited, even though it's kind of still in the summertime, but I am super excited for Ramadan. And so in preparation, we're going to use these awesome cookie cutters. Um, these ones are supposed to resemble like a masjid, and the other one is a crescent and a star, and they're just really fun to use. You're going to need a couple of things, and one of them is a toothpick, and the other one is this mixture of cocoa powder and like icing sugar so that's gonna help your cookie cutters not stick to the batter. All right so parchment and a rolling pin we're gonna roll these out you want to take off the parchment and Put it to the side because you will use it again. Take your cookie cutters and I'm gonna start with the ones that are difficult to uh, to take out. Then roll it around in your chocolate and powdered sugar. That's gonna help it from sticking. Um, push it down. Lift up from the top first while pushing down gently on the crescent. And there it is. Crescent needs to be slightly reshaped again, but it's good. Here they are. Aren't they so lovely and beautiful? All right, so we're gonna put these into the oven. My oven takes about, I wanna say like 12 minutes maybe. All right, you guys, I would like to say first of all, thank you to you for clicking on this video and watching it this far. Thank you also, number two, to with a spin for sending me those awesome cookie cutters. They're really fun to work with and they remind me of Ramadan, so that makes me happy. I hope your Ramadan preparations are going well. I'm going to continue baking my cookies and I will see you next time, inshallah.